Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASC certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today we're going to be diagnosing and repairing a 2005 Subaru WRX with a 2 liter turbocharged engine. Now our customer brought us this car with a complaint of the check engine light on, a misfire and a sluggish acceleration. It just doesn't pull out of the line from the stop. So let's check it out. We've connected our scan tool and we note that we have a PO300, a random misfire and a PO101, a mass air flow sensor, sensor performance. We suspect we may have an issue with the mass air flow sensor and that will affect our misfire as well. So let's check and see if we have any air ducting loose or any material that's gotten past the air filter onto the sensor or maybe just a dirty air filter. Now we checked our codes and we found along with our misfire, we had a mass airflow sensor code. We're gonna look at our mass airflow sensor. We're gonna check and make sure that our duct is not obstructed. Looks good. Check the hoses and make sure they're tight. Any air leaks here will cause the mass airflow sensor to receive not the correct amount of air to come in elsewhere. That looks good. Also check the compressor side since this is turbocharged. This model has an intercooler. If we have any leaks over here, we'll also have mass airflow sensor issues. Now let's check the air filter. For our diagnostics and our repair today, we will be using the Innova Pro scan tool, our trusty flashlight, a Phillips screwdriver, some approved mass airflow sensor cleaner, some shop towels, our safety gloves, and our safety goggles. We found a restricted air filter. Now this may not seem like it would be much of a problem, but it's going to restrict the airflow into the mass airflow sensor, and we could also have some particles pass through and get onto the sensor itself. So let's clean the filter, and we're going to check the sensor itself, and we're going to use an approved cleaner clean up that mass airflow sensor nicely so that we can start anew again. We have a can of approved mass airflow sensor cleaner and a shop towel. We've removed the screws. Now we'll pull the sensor out, disconnect it, and the dirt will be on this side as the air flows in this direction. We can't see much but it doesn't take much to affect it. We're gonna give it a couple short blasts on both sides of the sensor. We're not gonna to touch it and be careful not to get the, the little straw onto the sensor. This little O-ring around here is very important. Make sure it's good. Let's put it back in and go for a ride. Okay, we've cleaned our mass airflow sensor. The air filter was okay, but we found some debris on the sensor itself, in the wire. So we've cleaned it, we've cleared the code, we don't have any other codes reoccurring, so let's take it for a ride and see how it does. We've returned from our road test and our check engine lights off. Our drivability concerns are all behind us now. Oftentimes, a repair can be simple, as we demonstrated with cleaning this mass airflow sensor. Instead of replacing it, we made sure our air filter was clean, and we cleaned the filter and the sensor, and everything's fine. Now, there are a lot of things that can cause a check engine light to come on, an engine misfire, or a drivability concern. This one was cured by simply cleaning the mass airflow sensor. We have professionally diagnosed this car, professionally checked every step of it, and professionally repaired it. Job well done. 
The keys go to you.